You alright guys and girls, this is Vortex, and me and Roscoe are back for episode 3 of Banff Nostalgia. Aeop Chuck. Aye, well it is a very Aeop Chuck moment because this is Christopher Von Thornton's gameplay, or Scooter as you know him. And this is Modern Warfare 2, which is my most hated Call of Duty of all fucking time. And the map is Karachi, and he is using an SDR. Yes. Yes, my favourite gun in Modern Warfare 3. I never got a chance to use it in Modern Warfare 2 because I hated it that much and never unlocked it. Yeah, it was good. It was good on Modern Warfare. But yeah. I think uh, you came along too late in the day, though. You came when everyone was just hacking it and this, that, and the other. Yeah. It was actually quite a good game at the first time. A noobs game, as we've discussed, Ross. Yes, it's, it was a good game, but it was designed for noobs. Yes. And this is when the influx of kids coming to Call of Duty, because everyone wanted to be like FaZe, do trick shots, and other shit like that. But they can't do trick shots, can they? Yes. The sniping was actually really easy on this as well. Yeah, well, put, put it this way, dude, if I can fucking snipe on it, anyone can snipe on it. Fuck it hell. No, as, as, as you guys all well know, I am fucking dreadful at sniping. But I am, I am nearly, very nearly got my second gold sniper off. Well, that, that's a different story. Yes. It's a whole different game, baby. Yes! Yes. Yes, but this is this is the one that made Call of Duty big, really, wasn't it, Was Everyone fucking played Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. And there was quite a lot of people that never made the crossover. I'm better than you at sniping. Yeah, but there was quite a lot of people that never made the crossover from Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops, did they? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't like sniping in Black Ops 1. It made it very difficult. If you could if you could snipe on Black Ops, you had talent. Yeah, because it was fucking horrible to snipe on Black Ops. I think that's what put me off fucking sniping for life, that was, because I remember trying to use a sniper rifle on Black Ops and it would be like fucking two or three hit markers and then you get turned on, it's like, okay. Yeah. I won't try and to do that. I think it was the PSG on Black Ops. That was probably the easiest one for sniping. Hmm. Very similar to a Dragonoff, isn't it? Well, the the SVU in Black Ops 2. Yeah. It's a little bit more powerful than a Dragonoff in, obviously, the main part of Black Ops. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people say say that this was the best Call of Duty, but I I don't agree. I don't agree. I don't, I don't think. I think I still stand by COD Four, World at War, and Black Ops mm. Part One. Yeah, because people used to camp like shit just to get a nuke to end the game. Yeah. And I mean, I've I've seen. I, it on I, YouTube. Had, a, I had a fair few nukes in this. Yeah, I mean, I I've only had, well, I only, I didn't play it for long, and I I had a go on um, a mate's account because he had everything. And I got a nuke on Scrapyard. Oh, yeah, that'd be a hard map to get on because it's quite a yeah. close quarters map. Yeah, and I got a nuke on Scrapyard, and I, I did it with um, I did it with a human. <laughs> well, that's what everyone used anyway. Yeah. It wasn't the intervention, it was the ACR or the UMP. Yeah, I did it with a UMP and a Spaz 12. Mm hmm. Yeah, this, yeah you, um, could have, you could have a shotgun as your secondary weapon. Yeah, without using it, really. without using overkill, wouldn't it? Because they class them as they class them as um, secondary weapons. But that was like one of the it, every Call of Duty has its annoying annoying points. It's like when like when it when Modern Warfare Two made its transition over to Modern Warfare Three, the machine pistols uh, as a secondary uh, akimbo were ridiculous. But when you look back at this one, the fact that you could have the UMP akimbo, yeah. <laughs> That was quite. That was quite lols. Yeah, it's like the most powerful, powerful fucking submachine gun in the game. Well, probably the most powerful gun in the game because it used to outgun everything, didn't it? Yeah. And you could have it akimbo and just run around hip firing it. It was it was bad enough hip firing it when there was one, let alone fucking two of them. <laughs> uh, I'm saying that scooter got killed by someone in the UN. Yes, yes, yes. Scooter's, scooter's most hated gun. I can still remember the day that Modern Warfare Three come out. And I can remember Scooter screaming. And his exact words were, Oh, you fucking arsehole! Get more original! That was Modern Warfare 2 killing me with a UMP, you fucking arsehole! <laughs> Good old Scooter. Good old Scooter, yes. Yes. So th this this is this is obviously him running around with an ACR. Yes. And it's, it's quite a good gameplay, actually. I mean, you, the, it's, it's, well, it's Modern Warfare 2, so it's bound to be a little bit fucking slower than others. Yeah. Because no, Scooter, hiding in corners. yes, and Scooter has done this. This isn't this isn't off his own. He's done this off his own back. He's actually gone into hacked lobbies and stuff to try and get a gameplay for us. 
So it is a fresh gameplay. It's not one that he's had stored on his hard drive for like fucking three years. Well done, well done, Scoop. Yes, you, you you may have a lollipop, and if you're really lucky, Ross will touch you in the shower. So you've done better than me. I played like five or six games, and every one was like, trying to get a game playing. I was like, oh, fuck this. Well, the last the last time I ever played Modern Warfare 2 was with you. Mm. When we were doing that multi cod -tage, and I had that half-decent game on Quarry, and then as soon as I got the clip that I needed, I literally fucking smashed the disc to pieces. <laughs> Because this you love, actually, you love it really, Dave. this actually put me off Call of Duty because I, I played the campaign on Modern Warfare 2 because at the time I wasn't into online gaming. Yeah. Um, so I went in and I um I actually went into multiplayer, and I just I just got really angry very very quickly. I actually platinumed the campaign. I think. Did you? Yeah. Well, well it took me like the only campaign out of the Call of Duties that I've played that I've never finished was World at Wars, and. Modern Warfare Platinum, Freeze. Platinum I got. Well. I enjoyed that game a lot. I got stuck on Modern Warfare on um, not Modern Warfare on World at War. I got stuck on it on Veteran at uh, the bit with the where you fight the Japanese in the graveyard. Yeah, with the flamethrower and shit. Yeah, I got stuck there and it was just yeah, like it was, was so I near the I think I spent end. about two weeks right there <coughs> on the. Yeah. It was very frustrating. Well, that was when the that PlayStation Network was down. So I went back and I went and played because um, I'd, I'd been given a load of um, of um, games when I bought a console of someone, and World at War was one of them. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go through and do all the campaigns because yeah. this was when Black Ops came out, and like I got stuck, and it was just like I spent two days trying to do it, and it was just like, do you know what, fuck this, and I just put it down, and I never got the game out of the box again. <laughs> But like Treyarch games do tend to make their veteran really hard. I mean, Infinity War, their veteran wasn't really hard. I can still remember the first time I did Black Ops on Veteran where you run out of the fucking bar in Cuba. Oh, yeah. And you just good. get pummeled you as soon you as you run out of the bar. You, like, you have to casually stroll out behind cover. Yeah. Otherwise, you just get absolutely fucking smashed. But the only other one that I never completed um, the campaign for was Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. So I have to take people's fucking word for it that they finished the series on that night. <laughs> yeah. no, I can beat the campaign on that. <laughs> I probably will go back and play it at some point. But mind you, saying that I haven't done the campaign on Black Ops 2 yet. I did get I've done, got I've some done like two levels, I think, on Black Ops 2. Yeah. I think that's about as far as I've got. Anyway, guys, we're coming to the end of the video. Thank you, Chris, for your gameplay on Thanks Karate. For watching. And thank you guys for watching. And me and Ross are back next week on Black Ops. And we're on Hazard. Hazard. Yes, with lots of doggies. So we'll catch you next week, guys. Peace. Catch you later.